Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com. Today, we're delving into the world of hydrogen fuel cells, a cutting-edge technology that holds immense potential for the future of clean energy. Hydrogen fuel cells convert hydrogen into electricity, offering a sustainable and efficient power source for various applications, from vehicles to stationary power systems. Let's explore how hydrogen fuel cells work, their components, types, advantages, and challenges. A hydrogen fuel cell is an electrochemical device that converts the chemical energy of hydrogen and oxygen into electrical energy, water, and heat. Unlike conventional combustion-based power generation methods, fuel cells generate electricity through a clean and efficient process, emitting only water vapor and heat as byproducts. Hydrogen fuel cells operate on the basic principle of an electrochemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. Here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of the process. Hydrogen gas, H2, is supplied to the anode side of the fuel cell. This hydrogen can come from various sources, including water electrolysis, natural gas reforming, or biomass. At the anode, a catalyst, typically platinum, facilitates the oxidation of hydrogen molecules. This reaction splits the hydrogen molecules into protons, H plus ions, and electrons, E dash. The protons pass through a proton exchange membrane, PEM, to the cathode side of the fuel cell. This membrane is selectively permeable, allowing only protons to pass through while blocking electrons. The electrons, which cannot pass through the PEM, are forced to travel through an external circuit, creating an electric current. This flow of electrons provides the electrical power used to perform work, such as powering an electric motor or charging a battery. Oxygen, O2, is supplied to the cathode side of the fuel cell. At the cathode, another catalyst facilitates the reduction of oxygen molecules. The protons, H+, that have passed through the PEM and the electrons that have traveled through the external circuit combine with oxygen to form water, H2O. The primary byproducts of this reaction are water and heat. The water is typically released as water vapor, and the heat can be managed and potentially utilized for additional energy applications, such as heating. The anode is the negative side of the fuel cell where hydrogen gas is introduced and oxidized. It contains a catalyst that helps split hydrogen molecules into protons and electrons. The cathode is the positive side of the fuel cell where oxygen is introduced and reduced. It also contains a catalyst that facilitates the combination of protons, electrons, and oxygen to form water. The electrolyte is a critical component that allows ions to move between the anode and cathode while blocking electrons. In PEM fuel cells, this is the proton exchange membrane. Catalysts, usually made of platinum or other precious metals, are used at both the anode and cathode to speed up the reactions and improve efficiency. Bipolar plates are used to distribute gases, hydrogen and oxygen, evenly across the electrodes, collect and conduct electrons, and manage water and heat within the fuel cell. Proton exchange membrane fuel cells, PEMCs, are the most common type of hydrogen fuel cell. They operate at relatively low temperatures, 60 to 80 degrees Celsius, and are known for their high power density and quick startup times. They are widely used in transportation applications, such as fuel cell vehicles, FCVs. Solid oxide fuel cells, SOFCs, operate at high temperatures, 700 to 1000 degrees Celsius, and use a solid ceramic electrolyte. They are highly efficient and can use a variety of fuels, including hydrogen and natural gas. SOFCs are primarily used in stationary power generation and industrial applications. Alkaline fuel cells, AFCs, use an alkaline electrolyte, typically potassium hydroxide. They operate at temperatures between 100 to 250 degrees Celsius and are known for their high efficiency. AFCs have been used in space applications and are being explored for various other uses. Phosphoric acid fuel cells, PUFCs, use phosphoric acid as the electrolyte and operate at temperatures around 150 to 200 degrees Celsius. They are less efficient than PEMCs and SOFCs but have been used in stationary power generation and cogeneration applications. 
Molten carbonate fuel cells, MCFCs, use a molten carbonate salt mixture as the electrolyte and operate at high temperatures, 600 to 700 degrees Celsius. They are suitable for large-scale stationary power generation and can utilize a variety of fuels. Hydrogen fuel cells produce electricity with zero emissions, emitting only water vapor and heat, making them an environmentally friendly power source. Fuel cells are highly efficient in converting chemical energy into electrical energy, with efficiencies that can exceed those of traditional combustion engines. Hydrogen fuel cells can be used in a wide range of applications, from transportation, cars, buses, trucks, to stationary power generation and portable power devices. Fuel cells offer quiet operation, rapid refueling, and long driving ranges, making them ideal for various applications, including transportation and backup power systems. Hydrogen, the fuel for fuel cells, can be produced from diverse sources, including water, natural gas, biomass, and renewable energy, enhancing energy security and reducing dependence on fossil fuels. Hydrogen fuel cells require expensive materials, such as platinum catalysts, which increase the overall cost of the system. Ongoing research is focused on finding cost-effective alternatives. Hydrogen production, storage, and distribution infrastructure is still under development. Building a comprehensive hydrogen infrastructure requires significant investment and planning. Hydrogen has a low energy density by volume, requiring high-pressure storage tanks or cryogenic storage for transportation, which can be costly and complex. Ensuring the safety of hydrogen storage, handling, and distribution is critical due to its flammability and potential hazards. Fuel cells need to compete with established technologies, such as batteries and internal combustion engines, in terms of cost, performance, and market acceptance. Research is ongoing to develop advanced catalysts that reduce or eliminate the need for precious metals, making fuel cells more cost-effective and efficient. Innovations in hydrogen production, such as using renewable energy for electrolysis and developing biohydrogen production methods, are driving the growth of green hydrogen. Efforts are being made to build hydrogen refueling infrastructure, particularly for transportation applications, to support the widespread adoption of fuel cell vehicles. Integrating hydrogen fuel cells with renewable energy systems and battery technologies can create hybrid solutions that maximize efficiency and reliability. Governments and industries are investing in hydrogen research and development, leading to advancements in technology, cost reductions, and expanded applications. Hydrogen fuel cells represent a promising technology for a clean and sustainable energy future. By converting hydrogen into electricity through an efficient and environmentally friendly process, fuel cells have the potential to revolutionize various sectors, including transportation, power generation, and industrial applications. While challenges remain in terms of cost, infrastructure, and market adoption, ongoing research and innovation are paving the way for the broader commercialization and deployment of hydrogen fuel cells. Thank you for joining us at ReneEnergy.com. If you found this information helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights into renewable energy and sustainability. Thanks for tuning into the ReneEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.